truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Well, what I heard isn't fit for talk, but I heard that Miss Cora Groves up on the highway yes. has taken a boy. <laughs> She's old enough to be his mother on keeping him up there in her cafe. In her bed. That woman, I swear, went crazy when her husband left her. Oh, I know she did. That woman, I swear, isn't responsible for her own actions. I should say she isn't. I hear he does things whistling around like he belonged there. Have you ever heard anything like it? I haven't. I swear to God. I do. Why she called Evelyn Jackson a lie to her face, then Eva too swore things the devil and his angels wouldn't believe. Why she stand up there and swore black was white. And nearly that poor woman, the life that woman leads. Only God in his heaven knows the trials that poor woman has to bear. That she had to be dragged through this? She stood up there and said the way it was. And I said to Miss Jackson, I know, cried the whole time. I saw. Only God in his heaven knows the trials that poor woman has to bear. Nellie Windrop, do you solemnly swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Nellie yes. Windrop, do you solemnly swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Yes. So help me God, I don't know how we let him hang around here like he did, not talking to nobody. Nobody I know could live like that. Like the time he scared young Pansy so bad? Bad for the whole town with someone like that. Like the way he had just standing around? Around here? Everybody knows everybody. Everybody was scared of him. Everybody knew what he was. A fool like that. Grumbling and mumbling, staring and watching it all. I think people feel easier now. I know I swear I do. I do. I do. Now, Miss Winbrook, if you tell the court in your own words. Now, we have to understand you know, that Nellie is my flesh and blood. I know. Yes, Lord, she is my flesh and blood. And she thinks she knows, but she doesn't know. But she thinks she does. Suppose she'd know if anybody knew. But she thinks she does. Oh, but I know, and you know. I was at my window watching the moon. Oh, was there a moon? Didn't know there was. I'll tell you the way it was. I told all those new people in town that there wasn't much to know about Elbridge. That he used to go Elbridge, Elbridge pasture. To keep out, I guess. And then that they found coal. Built on coal and coal's money. And deserted once the coal came out. That what stands in the wicked old town all that. Buildings bowing and nothing. How do you know so much? And still so little. I, I would puzzle it if I could. Uh, now I told them that none of the people here are um, cold people. They are store owners and farmers. All the mining people, they moved off. They raped the land and moved away. Oh God, I remember the, there used to be explosives that would rattle the windows and oh, and it shook the water in the bucket day and night. I've known you remember so much. And it's still so little. My God, what, the last time I saw you, why, you were just a little baby, you girl got so. <laughs> you, uh, you saw me yesterday, Oh, <laughs> you don't know, that's so sweet. Why, the last time I saw you, why, why, you were just no bigger than this high. <laughs> oh, you know me all oh, my. Oh, you're grown up, so. My God. I had terrible bruises on my arms. Look at that. I'll see you, Cor. Ken, what did I get? You stay sick now on those narrow roads. It's supposed to pull the load. I'll come back to an empty day after tomorrow. Remember to tell me that again. Stay away. <coughs> no problem there. So tell me, how long has it been he's been there? A boy? Two or three months now. He only walks away around the place whistling like a hamlet. Well, here is his key. Boy, it isn't in the kitchen here. Is this key, Wilma? Boy, well, I'll say one thing. I'm fixing to close up. Whatever it is, she looks a garden side better now than she did a year ago, since I can remember. Boy? I'm sorry. I'm fixing to close up now. Are you sleeping? Thinking, I guess. Have another cup of coffee. I got time. That woman isn't responsible for her own actions. It's her husband left her. It's not for us to judge. Still, yeah, that's all well and good, but anybody who deliberately cuts herself off from the rest of the town. I don't judge, but I know who I speak to on the streets and who I've done. Well, does our work in town do now? Here? No, not in Eldridge. Not if you're looking for wages. It's easy to see the devil's work. I have that in mind. You might try Centerville. Eldridge is all but a ghost town. Are you here alone? I've managed for seven years. It hasn't bothered me. Might not be a bad idea to take someone on yourself. It's a sin to sashay through Centerville the way she does. 
buying that boy shirts and new clothes, keeping him up on the highway. I don't go, but I've heard that he's made a real show place out of Hill Cafe. I'd be happier if it was me if they made her close it down. That ought to be against the law to so many <coughs> truck drivers that handle them on the road so much. The wages of sin lead to death. Aren't you cold in just that jacket? It's pretty light for April. Nah, it's not that bad. The wages of sin lead to death. Bless her heart, poor old thing. Good evening, Mary. <coughs> you can marry me, Drive. You, you two. I'll, I'll walk you two sometimes. Aren't you cold in just that shawl, dear? Not the cold in the cellar for June. It's not bad. You'll be catching a chill next. I used to be a nun, and the constant proximity of all sickness has given me immunity to the night air. Never think that. Us dried up old women who write a lot of paper, we couldn't get sick. Now I listen to your tags sometimes. How's your daughter? Yes, I beg your pardon? Proximity to all that sickness. Yes, ma'am. Immunity to death itself. Now one of us passed Gabriel right on by. It came up and passed right on by. And here I am, a forgotten child. You better get inside, love. Frosting away, flaking away. You get in now. This wicked town. God hears the prayers of an old, dried up woman, and do not forget this wicked tale. <laughs> Hey, how are you doing in school? Oh, I'm doing all right. I just said to Martha Truitt, 
I suppose driver Jimmy will be leaving as soon as school gets out. Well, pretty soon anyway, like all the young kids now. Oh, I don't know about oh, that. You will. You'll be going off to see the world. I don't think so. There's nothing for a strong young man in this dead old town. I don't know. Where do you think you'll be headed? I don't know. Des Moines? No, I don't imagine. St. Louis? I don't think so. Chicago? I don't know. Well, your brother stayed, and he was wonderful and all, but we all expect he's going off like all the young boys. I, yeah, I don't know. I know! I know! Daddy! people tale like that. You know I bought that milk. I don't know you bought it, baby. I know you did. Well, they said in town you told I'd kill Dad to get it. No, uh, uh, Sandy Don was seriously. He died of old age. He was 96, for God's sake. He died mysteriously, Mary. In his sleep, like you will. Died of old age, like you will. What in hell do you mean telling something like that? Oh, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Your Betty is a goddamn loon. You know what it is? It's that they don't like me in this town. That's what it is. They don't like the watching them. They don't like me in this town. I knew they didn't. I don't see those big bad in the tail things on me. You crazy as hell is what it is. You out of your goddamn mind is what it is. <coughs> don't, don't talk like that, baby. Don't talk like that. I don't say those things. They, they, they tell fibs on me. They say that Showing I... Showing them bridges they, and telling I beat I, you. When the hell have I ever they, beat you? Stop! You know goddamn well how you get those bruises. You fall down. You bruise. You bump things. You're old. Who the hell takes care of you and you're telling lies on me like that, Mama? What do you mean? It won't need to, Nelly. They don't listen to you say things like that. You're right, Nelly. They don't listen to me. Who would listen to me? It doesn't do you any good. They come right on in and tell me. Don't be so happy. I think you better go on up to your room. No. No, I don't lock the door. If I leave the house, I'll lock the door, or you'll wander out and get hurt. You'll fall down the stairs until I beat Ow! you. Nelly! No, I don't want to go upstairs. The evil town is all around me up there. Go upstairs, Mama. No, I spit it in the windows. We'll pull the shades down if you don't want to see them. My skin and my whole body is rust away because of this evil town. Nelly, no! Wait, 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 Privacy and justice. We're the jury. Walter. Find Nanny Windrod. Walter. Not guilty. Not guilty. Walter. Robert. Oh, God. Mama. Eva. Not guilty. Papa. Pet. Not guilty. Cora. Walter. Not guilty. Adam. Eva, you better get on in here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Blackie. Here, Blackie. You better get on in here now. I'm coming. Come here, boy. The poor thing. Really? I get so damn tired of all that nonsense. I know, but they insist I wear it. You better put a sweater on if you gotta sit out there. I'm coming in directly. Not directly. You come on in now. All right. Where were you all day? I was wandering around the woods. Now, you know I don't like you going off alone like that. What if you fell and hurt yourself, and who'd ever know? I wasn't alone. Robert and I went walking. Well, don't you go off alone. Well, I won't. Not all afternoon. I don't know. God knows what could happen to you. I know. I don't. You look so fatigued. I'm not at all. I don't want to spend so much time with that boy. What boy? That driver junior. Wandering off. Spending all afternoon and evening with him. Well, who else would I spend it with? Well, why do you have to go off every day of the week? You can visit the Stutzes. You shouldn't be running around. It ain't good for you. You're not like the other kids. You have to be careful. You run yourself out, <coughs> perspiring like you do, wandering off with that boy. If something happened, who oh, no. And don't you think he's responsible? His brother might have been different, but the devil and his angels wouldn't know if something happened. I just don't understand why you can't stay at home like everybody else. Traipsing around the woods half naked like you do. What do you do alone in the woods, the two of you, and how? Nothing. I said you answer me, young miss. Well, nothing. I said you answer me the truth, young miss. Well, we don't do anything, whatever you think. Now, don't you talk back to me. You get in on this house, you hear? Well, I don't know what you think. You get in on it to the supper table. You're going to be the death of me. I swear. I swear. To tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Hey, she didn't see anything. Hey, as a witness, is terrible. Well, I don't know. I didn't see. I didn't see. I told you. I didn't see anything. What? You leave my daughter alone. Can't you see she's upset? She 
teacher. My God, what are you guys trying to do to her? She told she me. She didn't see. I don't know. It's not true, none of it. It's like I said. You're trying to make me out a murderer. It was God's will be done. She told me. We have all long known Skelly Manor. We have known his past. That light and evil. That unnatural desire. And we have long since been aware that at any moment the bitterness in his soul might again overflow. We let things lie. We took no action to prevent his crime, <coughs> the pendant, and at any moment crime. And the burden must be ours. We are responsible for the shock of these two innocents. We are responsible for our actions. Blood is heathen in our bones. Amen. Hey, hey. God forgive us. And your wisdom forgive us. Now these two souls, these two innocent souls, forget that dark <coughs> moment. Amen. Hey, hey, Why now? It's that dark moment. Set them free, Lord. Hey, hey, hey. Amen. Lord. Hey, hey, hey. Amen. Savior. Where do you want the pies? On the rack that says pies. And the coffee in the jar says coffee. And the menu in the top menu cup is all cash on. We do it by a show place. Well, for only a week. Ah, here. He'll catch on. And you have to understand, we spend a lot more time upstairs than down. If we didn't, I know a lot more about the restaurant business and a lot less about you. Now you just clam up before someone comes on in here. Shamed, are you? I most certainly am not, and you know it. But I don't intend to bother someone else's business with my own. I wonder what they think. You do, do you? I most certainly do not, and you know it. I like the way you people talk. You're looking good. I'm feeling good. What would you say about putting an awning over that door so a fellow doesn't get his head wet with rain as soon as he steps outside? Hmm. What did I care if he's going out? Oh, well, it might be on the way outside that he starts to come back in. You think, do you? You think, do you? It's something to consider. A show for It's a trash is what it is. I don't know what keeps us in. I swear. Maybe it's all that and you know. The only people that ever come into town is people look around, poke around, drive around, see what a ghost town looks like. Movie house been closed down eight years. If you want to see a movie, you got to drive 20 miles in a Santa bill. All the buildings on Main Street closed up, falling down, except for a store and a grubby filling station. And all the boys just standing out and hanging around. It's a disgrace. It can't be healthy. Rats to go over the old granary, everything rotten and falling down. The old mud shed building, it used to just shine. You could see it from miles away. Now the way it just sags, falling apart, boarded together, everything flapping and rusting. It's an absolute eyesore. Cats poking in and out of the rooms of all those old buildings. Their belly's just bursting. It can't be healthy. Dan could get a job in Centerville, just as well as here. They have a lot of decent people there, and they know how to have fun. But no, we have to stay here. All the boys from Centerville, they all have cars. I feel so ashamed getting off that ugly old smelly school bus with all the younger kids squealing. Sometimes I think I'm just going to sit there all day. So let him drive right in the parking lot, sit there all day in the hot sun broiler, rather, rather than get off that bus with all the boys standing out in front of the school. Probably surprised I don't smell cam, cam manure. Betsy! Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. And you should see the way they dress. In the summertime, the boys from Sayreville drive by on the highway. I'm up on the head wagon like some common hired hand. They yell and honk, carry on so damn smart. Just wish I could die. Betsy June! Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. You know, I just cry myself to sleep some nights. Night after night, just cry my eyes out. I hope you'll stay as bad. Trying to scratch and look together, trying to keep strong. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. Sometimes I don't even know why we try. I said it's warm for crying out loud. It's May. School is nearly out, and I don't know why I have to wear this ugly old thing. You have the nicest clothes. I don't know the dang thing. Well, all the boys from Sayreville, they were wearing the cashmere sweaters with V-necks. And I said, they can have them. I sure as hell can. All the girls in my class, they just started pee green purple, and I said, well, they didn't have what I wanted in Centerville, that two-bit town. So went along with Dad's Des Moines. Should have seen him. Peggy was furious. Oh, she thinks she's so rich. She has absolutely no taste at all. I know. Black and brown and blue and green. While the other day I said, Peggy, you look exactly the color of Chuck Mellon stooped on Mercury. Should have seen your face. I wish I could have. And Chuck, he thinks he's so damn smart, yelling to me, you should hear the things he says. Make your ears burn. I said, and he should know. If he wants to come by, come up to the door and knock like some kind of respectable person, I'd go out. I'm not just going to run out of the house like that. I don't care how long he sits in his car honking. He can honk all damn night for all I care. And let's say it's a real show place. I hear she closes at 10 every night now. Oh my. It's not for us to judge. Still, that's all well and good. But I know what I know. I know it was him. Why would anyone want to poison black? He's just a helpless dog. He just looked at me like.
like he knew I'd help him, but there wasn't anything I could do, and I think he knew. I don't understand somebody doing something like that. There wasn't anything I could do, just nothing at all. Why? I don't know, love. Why? I don't know, love. Why? I don't know, love. Just a helpless little dog. He was too old to hurt anybody. Someone's poisoning dogs around here, and that's the meanest, lowest thing in the world. Now we should cause an animal to suffer like that. I know it was him, too. I know it was him. Well, we can think what we think, but we can't do anything. They all bark it, and you know that. Blackie could tell an evil person. A dog can tell. They're all scared of him. Wickedest man, creeping through town with mean things. Peeping in the girls' windows, standing and looking like that? Who knows what's in someone's mind like that? Ah! What girls, man? Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, he's there! What's wrong, baby? I saw him, I saw him, looking in my window, his face! Who oh, was? Answer me. Kelly? Skelly, Skelly, Skelly was! Oh my goodness, you should have seen him. I was only in my pants. You should have seen his eyes. I don't know he could have seen him. That's enough in you now. Where was he? At my bedroom window. Where do you think? You were imagining things. You were dreaming. I wasn't asleep. I tell you, I was just getting ready for bed. I'll go ahead and check. No, now he's gone. My God, I screamed and he ran away. I imagine he would. Oh, wait, the dad, what's he going to say? Don't you start. I'm sorry. For what? Sorry to come on in private. For scaring you so. It's all right. My word, something like that, I think you would. Oh yeah, I was just so scared. Of course you would. <laughs> That's enough, Dad said. It was horrible. It's all right now. I don't think I can go back in my room tonight. Young man. It's all right now. Can't I sleep with you tonight? No, now he's gone. Just tonight. Going back to bed, honey. What well, are you, some kind of baby? Oh yeah, I was just so scared. It's all right now. I'm sorry. Okay. It was horrible. Can't I sleep between you two? I'm shaking like a leaf. It was nothing. Just a night. You were too big for that kind of thing. Something ought to be done about him. It was your imagination. It was the trees. It was the wind. It was the shadows. It was Skelly Man. I guess I know who it was. I saw him. Go on back to bed, honey. I saw him. Well, he's gone now. Whoever it was. It was Skelly Man. I guess I know who it was. Because I saw him. Something ought to be done about him. Oh, he's not done nothing. Not yet. I suppose you call scaring an innocent girl doing nothing, and the whole family too? Everyone knows what he does. Well, what can he do? But look, must be over a hundred pieces a day. Just looking is doing. God knows what he might do. He's 80 years old. He is not. How can you tell how old he is through all that film? Well, I remember when I was uh, Josh's age or younger, we used to give old Skelly a bye. Pick now! Now, and I remember back then he looked the same man as he does now. In fact, that's what all the older men were saying too. So, he's getting known. Uh, he's just a curiosity. A curiosity. That's funny. You're just as bright as the sun. You ought to hide your head under a barrel. Well, he's not hurt anybody. Except Warren Peabody. Well, Warren Peabody deserved whatever he got. What did you do? Sure. What did you do to Warren? Is that Laura Peabody's boy? Oh, Lord, no. <coughs> Tries that old chef from over at Santa Bill. Part of that river trash bunch. Well, he hit Warren in the head with a rock. Oh, about 30 feet. Caught him the back of the head and knocked him out cold. I don't remember one drive was alive. For his accident, this was a wonderful place. Well, you got a good aim. I can bash for that. I've told you, Josh, I don't want you boys teasing him. I don't care how old you are, you just ignore him. I don't know why you do that. You know he could turn on you any second. Oh, I don't bother him. Well, who knows what's in somebody's mind like that. With that time he scared young man so bad. Man, for the whole town was something like that. Well, like that parade every Saturday afternoon with his driver spinning through town laughing. I remember his laugh. I remember he uh, paid Kurt Watson cross side of face once. And Kurt was a fast runner in town, pegging when Kurt was giving him a bye. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord, that was crazy. I'd do something like that with sheep. Oh, yeah. Josh, now! Well, I figured maybe he just couldn't get a girl. That's enough. Well, it's not like it's some secret old town was what he did. It's the funniest thing that's happened around here, anyway. It's not our place to talk. Now, I don't imagine he did it more than once in the time he got caught, of course. <laughs> well, that's the dumbest thing I ever heard. Must have really hard up, is all I can say. Do some bestial thing like that. When I think of the evil in this world, I can just cry. It was some, anyway. Yeah, I don't know. Must be in four with Bore. Hell, he must be 80 years old. Well, he's getting old. I think Driver Junior just hated his brother. He was just nothing compared. His brother was always happy, at least. Driver's been dead now three years tomorrow. May 13th. Every time I see that car, it just kills me. Some dumb old sheep herder. I hear they're all like that. Well, they don't get into town much. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could have seen them. We should have had him talking about it on Halloween. We could find him on Halloween, that is. Uh, that old bass, I don't know how he gets away with the things that he does. I know me and Drive was been running by town once. 
think he got drunk and stayed. When was that? Uh, just before his accident sometime. Well, you watch yourself? When I think of evil in this world, I swear I'm just around. A decent person is afraid to move outside of that. What kind of life is that? Well, tell Sheriff Cleveland what we saw in the morning. There's not much we can do. We didn't catch him at nothing. It'll be too late one day. Then who's to blame? Nanny, Nanny, I saw it. I saw it, dear. Sure you did, Mama. In my dreams. Oh, God, it was horrible, Nanny. Go back to sleep, Mama. Someone is going to get butchered in this town, Nanny. But he's going to share it. Blood is gonna shed. Someone's gonna get butchered in this town. Going out into your garden, Mama. But Nanny, go back upstairs. <laughs> Hey, Bobby, Bobby, hey. Thanks for shooting. 
to uh, drive us, Dad. Yeah, well, I guess I know that, don't I? Are you going on by? Like what? What do you want? Son of a bitch. <clears throat> don't talk to me like that. You don't talk bad. I don't, no, because I don't see any needs. I was a son of a bitch walking around like some kind of stud horse. He wasn't human. Who are you to tell if someone's human? You didn't see. I saw. You didn't go to the race to see him kill himself. I didn't know because I don't like them. People went and I didn't. It's because they like them and I don't. You don't know. I'll tell you what your son of a bitch was like. No, you don't know anything. You hear me talking to people? I see. He was a snot nosed kid, 12, when he was born, driving through town like some kind of big shot. Was racing car with green and yellow, red back there, and all the cars lined up after him, honking like some kind of string of geese coming to town. Man, it was wonderful just to hear them cheer. Another silver cup, another blue ribbon, first place. And I heard all the stories up at the cafe, and all the shouting, and all the glory. I don't know what you're talking about. I saw him with Betty Atkins. She was in a room. He was crying and crying about how he hit her. You didn't know that. You liked to kill her. You know, I thought people made up stories about you peeping into people's windows. I it's saw just him. Bad, as they say. I saw him. You're a better man than he was. You're disgusting. You know, my brother, he always talked about you and just how bad you really were. My dad did too. And yeah, you know what? Because I told him I saw him. You know what he did? You know what he did? He had to do it for himself. He had to help himself out in his car parked on the road and in his room. He had to do it for just himself. Just shut up! That's what I know. You're disgusting. You should be you should be killed or jail. My brother was a good person. He was a wonderful person. He beat Betty Atkins and did it by hand, jacking all over her. I saw ah, it. That's what I know. You're disgusting. Everybody knows you can spy on Who do you think you are? Who the hell do you think your son of a bitch brother was? That's what ah. Get on, Driver Jr. You like that? Get on. Get on, Driver Jr. When that boy died, the heart of this town was buried with him. It was wonderful. Gave him himself. Gave him himself until there was nothing left. He killed himself in an accident. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Boy, Robert, hey. What? What? What do you want? You tell him. What? I don't know what you're talking about. What do you want? Your friend. Well, who? Him, Robert. Tell him what? Tell him he's all right. What do you mean he's all right? He's a good boy. Well, I imagine he knows that. No, he may find him. They don't know. It's standing the fastest. He's all right. You're terrible the way you talk. Nobody makes fun of him. It's you they laugh at. You tell him. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, and I wouldn't tell anyone anything you told me to tell him. You tell him. We, the jury, find Nelly Wind drive not guilty. Oh, God, oh, God. Mama? It is not Nelly Wind trying to be being tried here today. Creepy. Tumbleweed blowing through town. I don't know how anyone can stand it. There's no tumbleweed blowing through. You talked to little brother. I talk to things too. I talk. You see, I have seven tropical fishes and a number of birds that I feed each and every day. And I take excellent care of them. I talk to them until they die. You see, <laughs> I like little things with little hearts beating and little lives around me. Just the little hearts moving away and the high temperature and short lifespan. And I pat out uh, little graves like loaves in my backyard. I, I, I wash gravel like little rocks because that is my garden. And when I remember to, I put, I decorate them with flowers. Here, let me show you. Here's no good. Now, this one over here is Trinket, my rat terrier that died 11 years ago last November. Right there, you got Bonnie. My puppy Spaniel who died uh, four years ago last September. All in the fall. Only. Oh, and then we got the two little loads right there. Now that's Gilda and Wanda, my two goldfishes. They were floating on the side one morning, so maybe little loads were there. <laughs> so, and there we got Chi Chi, my canary, died, mm, I believe, two years ago last September. Then you got Goldie, my other canary passed on a year after that. And then we got. Tina, uh, my blue kid, beautiful blue kid. Now, Tina takes Riley, Goldie takes Daisy, uh, Chi Chi likes dandelions, uh, de yeah, she likes dandelions, Bonnie takes roses, and Trinky likes daffodils. Generally, the spring daffodils, and, and you don't wonder, then they take tulips. You know, when the flowers drop and die, I feel like I should bury them. All my children, go, go, go. <laughs>
school next year. Of course, he'll finish because it's his last year now, but what I mind, that's just incredible. When's it going to be? We aren't messing around. He said it'll be two weeks from this Saturday. He don't want to have a church wedding at first, but I said, Chuck Young, if you think I'm just going to run off to a preacher and practically elope, then you've got another thing coming. So it'll be at the First Presbyterian of Centerville, a beautiful church. Just can't wait. It's going to be lovely. Um, I'm going to have a pillbox hat and a veil and probably roses. It's not too early for roses. Bonnie? Bonnie, here come. Here, kitty, kitty. Oh, come here, my little baby. Come here, mama. Come on. I'm go. just so surprised. It wasn't really sudden. I knew you wanted to. I just love the first Presbyterian. Now, you know I'm aware we want to get this settled and go home and forget about it. I just hope the trial now is quieted down by then. I could just ruin the whole thing. Oh, it will be. It's a beautiful church. It really is. It's just beautiful. And my aunt's going to give the bride's breakfast. Aren't you excited? I imagine we'll live in Centerville. You know, do we have enough money to get a place of our own? Maybe move somewhere? Uh, there's a wonderful place in town. <coughs> right over the barber shop, the Regenson. That's been empty for weeks. I want to tell Chuck to put some money down on it. I just don't want to live with his folks. Can't stand them. They're just so square and old-fashioned. They don't even smoke, or even make it for anything. Chuck is wonderful. He really is. I'm just so surprised. He was so cute, he said. Would I mind not being at school next year? Of course, I miss my friends and all, but would I mind? It's just beautiful. It's a beautiful church for a wedding, isn't it? What's wrong? Aren't you excited? Mm -hmm. Of course I am, silly. <laughs> I don't think Josh and me want to get married though until after I'm out of school. Oh my lord, Lena, you do not want to marry Josh. My goodness, I can't imagine it. You're not serious about him. He's so childish. He isn't. He's six years older than you. I've just worked for two years. Well, I know that, but you don't want to marry him. My goodness. He's all right. He's sweet and all. Maybe hold hands with him, go to the show. I don't know how you can stand driving around town in that garbage dump truck, though. I drive it sometimes. It isn't bad. Well, I know, but Josh! Lord Lena, you know, there's so many things that I gotta do yet. You know what I like most about Chuck? Except clean meat and all. Wait, he keeps his mercury? Slack's bacon new. And he took us by surprise. You seem uneasy. I'm not, really. I depend on you too much, probably. I uh, know, nothing's wrong. I always had a dream, an idea of maybe leaving here someday. Yeah? Wouldn't you like that? You go where, Hawaii? Well, no, not quite Hawaii. It's sometimes somewhere and sometimes somewhere else. St. Louis, Chicago, anywhere. Well, what would you do there? The same, of course. Only a nice place, maybe. I know business if we could sell this place. You wouldn't want to do that, would you? Wouldn't you like that? St. Louis, maybe. It's an idea. Can't say I like St. Louis too much. Have you been there? Chicago, then. Chicago's nice. My uncle lives in Chicago. He could help us get started. What's wrong? Anything? Nothing's wrong. What do you say we uh, close up early tonight? I'd be agreeable to that. Is she any better? Oh, I don't know. Who can tell? Ham. Hey, Ham. What are you shaking about, huh? Got a roast bone from Chorus for you. There you go. Go to it. Those guns scare you, do they? Those hunters, eh? Should have seen them with the mines running, with dynamite, what do you call it, booming 50 more times a day. That'll make you shake. And we had in town, kept that aside from 7 in the morning until 7 at night, under every bed in town. Oh, yeah, they was fancy people. Butter wouldn't melt. Old man Riley bought the elder place up on the hill there. With no other place to do it for him. Carrying on with their mining parties and societies, if you please. Blast all day in the mines, blast all night at home. Glenna Ann, sashaying, serving tidbits on a platter. Old man Riley called me every name in the book, fit to be tied. She was a pretty one, too. Only 18, the two of us. Old man Riley called me every name in the book. Chased me off the place at the crowbar. I was sure I sneaks back on the very same night. We done it out in the woodshed there. Everything smelling of hickory and cedar for their fancy fireplaces. Oh, now how did she squirm, saying to me, oh, I love you, I love you, I really do. I love you, Scaly. Oh, shit. So I thought she was going to croak. Oh, Lord, sashay around town. Never lit on that she even knew me. Pretty girl. No girl in town this pretty. And there are now none in between. Don't you bury that. It's a roast bone, you. That's good. Old man Riley moved off. 
She moved off. Whole family lost off the head coat. Mine's give up, off the get. Oh, I love you, I love you, oh, I really do. Playing in the wood shavings on the floor in the wood house there. Till morning near. Blue is blue on her nightgown. Playing in the shavings. Digging. Beautiful tits. No tits like that when or since. Guess you know, Peck Johnson fairly beat the shit out of his little girl his last night. Whip for good. Never seen anything like it. Patsy, little whore she is too. Old lady just standing there white as a ghost. She nearly bled. Good, I say good. Whatever she done, I say good. People don't care what kind of thing goes on, what kind of devilment. Ham, where'd you run off to? There you are. You're a good girl. Playing in the wood shavings. Good morning, dear. Blue is blue, and her and her nightgown. <coughs> Little red thing on her nightgown there, too. Right across the doing all barefoot. Jackson. A crippled girl. Got one leg shorter than the other. Cries. Never seen anything like it. She dances in her room. Curtains. Lace all wrapped around her. Looking like a banshee. Oh, he's all right. Tell him I said he's all right. I guess he knows that. No, no, he don't know. People don't care. Better than his no good brother. Old man Riley never did know. And I weren't the only one either, you can bet. People don't care what kind of thing goes on, what kind of devilment. Get some sassafras, good for the stomach. And the smell of hickory and cedar. Cedar, 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 all in the air. Sang. Oh man, her songs there. Soft, so wouldn't carry to the house. Carrying on, biting. Till I thought she was going to croak. Pretty girl. Beautiful tits, beautiful tits. Oh, yes. Oh, sure. Is she any better? Oh, I don't know. Think so. She said that. The doctor said it was just a shock. Well, I think so. I've never heard anything like it. Like the time he scared young Pansy so bad? Yeah, for the whole town, something like that. Terrible plan. I feel so sorry for her. How's Charlotte Jr.? I don't know. He hasn't been around. I don't know what to make of that. Well, I told her not to go off. I'm not going to say anything. Such a shock for all of us. It's awful. She's always been so easily upset. Well, she has caused. I just wish she was still alive. That's what I wish. When I think of the evil for Aunt Nellie, the life that woman leads. And I said to Eva's mother. I know. I cried the whole time. I saw only God in his heaven. It appeared to me that both men were hit in that car. What? Order! It, it appeared to me. Now you have testified as a witness, Mrs. Windrush. I was there by the window watching the moon. Was there a moon? A crescent moon. I know for sure. You testified that she was soft. Yes. Uh, there was blood everywhere. Uh, on the porch, the river. Uh, I tried mopping it up, but it just spread with the water and went all over the place. Driver Junior and Young Eva, clearly. Clearly? I didn't say clearly. I, I don't see where. You testified that she was soft. In my dreams. <laughs> you was asleep? <laughs> <laughs> Backyard, so I took out the gun that I keep out the door, the shotgun, and checked to see if it was loaded, and it was. And I opened the door. Bonnie? Bonnie? Here, come. Here, kitty, kitty. Come here, my little angel. Oh, oh. Mm. Oh. Did you go to town? Yeah. In the sun, though? No, no, only to Eldridge. So, what do you think? What can I tell you? It's a ghost town. I told you. What was that big building? The movie house? On the corner. Oh, that used to be a drugstore and an exchange, and a couple doctors and some lawyers had their office upstairs. A dentist, I think. That was one of the first buildings to shut down. Some people said hello like they knew me. Well, they do know you from here. Wonder what they think. They do, do you? Sometimes. Well, Peck Johnson said the new boy helping me appeared to be a genuine good worker. And what do you say to that? 
Well, I said yes, yes, he's a genuine good worker. Some of them ain't so bad. I like the truck drivers all right. Mm, they're from all over. They keep the place going, half for years. People from Eldridge ain't so bad. I think some of the girls have a crush on you. They're young. Well, they're not all that damn young. It's gonna be a nice night. It's gonna be a nice summer. No, in the winter time, I'm in autumn. It's so nice, it smells so clean. She came in from nowhere. I said she shouldn't be gone out of the house like that. Let. What you doing standing on the corner by, huh? Why are you sleep now that your stinking shack burned down? Oh, do you sleep? <coughs> do you sleep? Sleep she. Bet. <laughs> Get on. What'd you say? Mind your own business. Which old damp rotten cellar you haul up and down the old dry shack burned down, huh? Bet you eat worms, don't you? The hell on you! Bet you worms, don't you? Won't tell anybody where you live now, will you? Because you know what'll happen if you close your eyes there again, huh? Don't you? Yeah, you son of a bitch! Mind your own! I'll tell you what I got. Better not! What you call me? Get on. Say what you call me? You ought to kill it, Josh. Shit, what you say? You ain't worth it. Get on. Yeah, get on. You would want to get on, not me. Just don't let anybody follow you home, eh? And don't close your eyes. Don't let your head down there again. You wake up to a hot bed one of these days, you old bastard. Bah! Bah, you son of a bitch, yeah, man. Came from behind. Took us by surprise. Pushed me. I don't know if I passed out or not. Nelly, 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 Nelly! There's someone out there having a terrible fight. They came from the wood and started yelling all kinds of things. Well, where was you? I thought you was in bed. You better go out and see, honey. He's immense. He's strong. He's out there all day now, polishing the dash, the chrome, and all. I know it's amazing. And I heard a ring in my ears, and I saw what he was trying to do, and everything just went wide. He pushed me. Ah! Of course, you're on the hill. You're protected. Of course, the rain's <laughs> for you in the valley there. 
Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. I remember telling Josh when the river was swelling out there in March, I don't remember seeing it that bad. I believe I've never seen the rain so bad. Yeah. Oh. Fields must have been out of six to ten inches of water all through the spring. Yeah, we couldn't plant till uh, late in the month. I think it was uh, the 18th, uh, latest I remember. It was, I remember. The latest I remember. When well, you're in the valley there, you're not protected. Yeah. And the floods are bad for you. Yeah, but it's good about them topsoil, though. Yeah, it's about them land. Oh, it's good about them land. It's semi froze though. Yeah, the Oaks isn't doing too well. Well, it's been drought the past month. Yeah, well, uh, the radio is saying that we're going into a drought. And we got all our rings right in there together. What, what you, not what you call a deep rain, though. No, I ran off much as there was in that. sure you saw it now. Yeah, you must be getting the worst of it because you're on the hill there. Just got out of work? You look at you, didn't even wash up. How did it? It's just going to have to wear off. It's going to run in, I think. Well, what do you want to do tonight? Well, I was thinking we could eat up at Hill South, unless you want to just go right into the center of it. Oh, yes, that's because Pat did it, and I want to see it. Well, just saw it this morning. Yes, but she said she had a surprise she wanted to tell me. I don't know what she thinks is a surprise. But... All right, so we'll go on to Eaton Center and then go on into a movie, or would you rather drive around? I'd kind of see the picture. Yeah, whatever you want. But she's going to be with Chuck, so you'd be nice to him. Isn't he cute, though? Yeah, yeah. Was he really at the driving with you? That's so funny, because Andy Walter out found out. Oh, that's the funniest thing. I wish I'd seen it. It's not that bad. But she's so old for him. My God, she's 38. She isn't. Is she going to say 34? She is no 34. And besides, that's bad enough. That soldier you went out with last year was that old? He was not. I bet he was. He was balding. He was not. What do you think I am? He had a crew cut. And besides, he was 26. I saw his ID. Oh, he wasn't any 26. Poor Brina. I saw his draft card. Besides, it's different with a boy. He was very nice. We only went out twice, though, so we didn't do anything. That's hard for me to believe you, but... Well, when you asked, Father, what difference does it make? Because he worked for me. He used to live out back of the cafe for years till the shack burned down. I still say it was Driver Jr.'s brother and Josh that did it, burned the shack down. Well, we'd come into the clearing back behind Nellie Winslow's place, Baha Mill there, and we heard something, and he said he'd show me what? Skelly did? He did not. Well, no, he didn't say. If that's not how it really happened, you better say the truth, Eva. Well, I said it happened like Robert said, and it's like that. I don't care if you know him or not. Mama said the preacher said a sermon about the evil in the people like him, and that we should have killed him or something before he had the chance to take advantage of me. I've been cursed, scarred. You can't lie under oath, Eva. Well, you're the one who's going to hell, not me. I didn't do it anyways. Nellie did. It wasn't Skelly. Who do you think it was? She told me. If he'd have lived, you'd not have seen the light of day tomorrow. Yeah, I'm not good anyway. Good watch, dog, easy. Oh, the bitch with the dog? I'll kill that bitch. She wakes up the folks, does he? Every damn night starts the barack as soon as the lady gets home. Doesn't matter how easy I drop him. So I park it all down the street. Still starts up a rack as soon as he sets a foot on the porch. When I think of the evil in this world, I swear. I never figured him to hurt nobody. Hell, <laughs> we all knew he was looting someone like that. We all knew he was capable of that kind of thing. Well, I mean, capable, yes, but I never figured him to hurt nobody. But when someone lives like that, away from everybody. Well, I mean, Gore's a gift. Boy's giving him grief, but uh, he can take care of himself. Should have put away the way that he looks at everybody. He should have been shot. Just shot in the woods. Nobody the wiser. I mean, I guess he could have done it like he's capable, but I just never really figured him to do nothing. At least not outright, anyhow. Why, she called Evelyn Jackson a lot to bug face and Eva too. Swore things the devil and his angels would have believed. Why, she stand up there and swear black was black. Nelly, 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 there's someone out back having a terrible fight. They came from the woods and they started yelling all kinds of things. Where was you? I thought you was in bed. You better go out and see, honey. Morning. Morning. We don't see you to talk too much. No, September's a busy time. I'm still saving up strength for Pet's corn crop this year. It's sure looking good. I drive past. I've been keeping my How's the mail? No, September's always good. We see you drive by. Evenings I've been going into Centerville talking to some of the farmers over there. Said we might be into a drive. We saw you, I believe, going into the movie house there. Yes, I don't get a chance to go often. Well, we don't go. I've seen the girl there. Patsy? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, Patsy enjoys it. She goes with Chuck. Mm -hmm. I'll nice for her. I suppose you know we're planning a wedding. Mm -hmm. I told Patsy there wasn't any use in having a <coughs> church wedding. All amounts to the same, Patsy wouldn't hear of it. So I suppose we're going all out. Awful nice boy out here. Do you? 
Glad to hear it. We hardly know them, really. But he does seem sweet. His family has a lovely farm. Visited last Sunday. He grew up so fast. Quite a uh, nice young lady. Worth pride of her. How's your mother? Oh, mom's the same. Her mind's gone. I hate to leave her alone nights, just like a child. You have a lot of your own. You have to get out. Yes, I do. I still hate to leave her, though. Just the same. We see you driving in the Centerville. It's good to get away from the mill. Dwayne nearly runs it for me now. I was talking to your mother. Poor thing. Yes, it's sad. I remember she had a fine mind. Oh, yes. One of the first registered nurses in Des Moines. A long time ago now, when she was a girl. She goes on terrible about you. Poor thing. I know. She doesn't know what she's saying half the time. Still, she tells things. Must be awful for you. I'll take care of her, Mavis, as long as my strength holds out. Martha Truett said, the life you have to bear. It's my cross, Mavis. I know. I told Peg. How is Peg? Oh, he's all right. His back is giving him trouble again. I keep telling him it's just nerves, but between you and me, I don't know. I don't know. And who knows what's in someone's mind that day? Oh, what was it? I saw them? No. In the winter time. I'm odd. It's so nice. It smells so clean. Okay, Paul, then. Well, yes, and it's heavy. Heavy frost, and it covers everything, and that's wrong. And it's just frost. It's a poor frost. Well, that's it. Poor frost is wrong. And it covers everything. Every little blade of grass, and trees, and houses, everything. Like it's been dipped in water, and then in sugar. Or salt. Yeah, I know what it is. Well, it's better than salt stones or anything like that. And everything is white, and sparkly so clean, and when the sun comes up, it blinds you. And, well, it's rare. It doesn't happen every year, but that's what I'd like to do. What I'd like to be. I have a book with Jack Frost painted around on the window pane with a paintbrush. Do you fly? Do you dream you fly? When? Ever? I don't know, I guess. Well, how high? Think about it. It's important. Everybody flies. It's important how high. Oh, just over my head, I think. Really? Well, I imagine I'm always getting caught up in wires and all. Well, I'm way over the treetops, just over the treetops, just brushing against the treetops. And I fly right over them, just brushing with my arms out, like an airplane, spreading this salt frost in the autumn. Well, I love autumn. And when the sun comes up, uh, it blinds yeah, you. I've seen it. Well, it's so bright, it blinds you. And I want to fly like that, over the whole town, right over everybody. It's beautiful. Listen, listen. Did you hear something? <coughs> Are you out there? Here, yeah. Can Walter help you? You know Walter. Yeah, I know. We're heading in soon, but he can help you with it. The black woman spots. Spotty? Had a litter. She did? Yeah, she had four, but she ate one. Oh, that's terrible, Skelly. You should take them away from her. She was she ate one of them? The run, the last one. Pigs are terrible. If they have one that's weak or runt, they will. Well, can you stop her? I didn't see it. They just run wild. One of them is nice though, brown one. She's a good one. One of them is tame and nice, and the rest you can't get near them. He has four, so that makes seven now. You got to be a regular rancher. The brown's a good one. He has an old hound dog, too, that he keeps. He takes good care of them, but they just run wild. Want me to help you? I'll be all right. You like her? What, like who? Johnson. That Patsy Johnson. Cora, you good to you? Cora. I imagine Cora's good to everybody. But you. She's good to you. I've seen you with Patsy Johnson. You like that carrying on? Well, I thought you were talking about your brown sow. I haven't seen it. I said, if you think you're a big man, playing around here and playing around there. Do you want me to help you slop the hogs? I'll be all right. Well, Skelly, you can make your business know that you can see why Cora makes sure we turn off the lights and close the blinds, and, and listen to hear if anyone's about. If you make your business know everything, I guess I don't have to tell you what Patsy Johnson's like. She's a bitch. Patsy. And then they'll lie down. Cora's a good woman. Yeah, will you slop the hogs or take out the garbage? And I'll build a fence and paint the cafe. We're none of us freeloaders, I don't suppose. I don't know anybody anything but money. I don't owe anybody time. And Cora's managed that place for seven years without you and I, don't you think? Wouldn't you say? So you go on, you slop the hogs. You be thankful that Cora gives it to you for the price of carrying it anyways. What do you do with these hogs anyways? How come they're so wild? I feed them and they run wild. Go on, I didn't mean anything by it. Good night. terrible bruises inside my elbow, and she pushes at me terribly, and she can't help it though. It's my fault. If you had a car, you could drive all over. Oh, I want a car for Well, are you afraid? 
What for? So I can drive around the square, around the square, around the square. All the boys from town, that's all they ever do is drive around the square, off in the center field, and drive them, <coughs> and drive them to see a movie. Well, you just don't want to be like. Like what? It's, that's all these boys ever talk about. That's all anybody ever treats as like, that's all that matters. The, all these boys from town, they live in their cars, on top or under their cars. They sleep in them, they drink in them, they get sick and vomit, and they make out with their girls in them, and they eat in them, and then, oh, Lord. Like, evolution's going to take their legs right away from them, make turtles with wheels for legs out. <laughs> I think you're just afraid because of Java. Well, hey, that's another thing I hadn't thought of either. They, they, uh, they die in them, too, let them die without ever stepping outside. Like, why would I want that? Sometimes I think life is so short we shouldn't work for the strong one here. And then I think I should work really hard so I can make some money and also I can be comfortable. And then I think how awful working all that time would be and most of my life would be gone by that time and I would have wasted it. You know what I mean, Josh? No, no, Josh, don't. Well, you said you would. Sometime I said. Well, you don't want them? It isn't that. Don't now. Well, what? You know. There's no assurance of what can happen. You don't know what can happen. Well, nothing's going to happen. Don't now, I'm not kidding now. Come on, just see now what's gonna happen. You don't like me really, you for sick. Don't like you? Well, why do you think I won't? You know what I mean. Just see, just see, just see. Nothing's gonna happen, just see. No, I said, now come on! Oh, Jesus Christ, Lena. Well, don't get mad. Well, then go so far, they didn't stop me. I don't know what you expect. It's all right, isn't it? Gosh. <coughs> Don't just sit there. I said sometime. Sometime, really, I mean it. Just not tonight, okay? I want to, too, really. Just not tonight. Just scares me, okay? Okay? No, Josh, I said no, and that means no good lord. <laughs> now you're mad, aren't you? No, sir. It's the sole responsibility of our barrack community. The last one which we had the obligation of our Christian lives. The blindness in which we love evil in our lives. We watched it fester and grow. We lost us dreadfully now through shirking our Christian duty. Nelly Wintrod is not on trial here today. That man may the Lord have mercy on his soul, damned eternally to hell, and our blindness to his way. It is our responsibility that we must share in that terrible knowledge. As you go your ways tonight, as you leave and walk and drive to your homes, realize that the burden must be ours and ask the Lord for his grace. Pray for those two souls as you pray for the lost, the outcast. Let's pray for the souls of the damned and the care of our boys overseas. Pray to the Lord to unlock the bitterness in the souls of those like him living in the world today. And pray that they may see the light of his holy way. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. Had the olds out last night. Old man's olds? Yep, yeah, just the spot I wrote, opened it up. The G was out there last week. Yeah, they did. Out of 20. Old Neil was bouncing up from two and a half to back in. Yeah. We ought to answer down. We ought to take her out Sunday. And it covers everything, and that's that. And it's just for us. Is that more for us? Well, that's it. Pour across this map, and it covers everything. Every little blade of grass, and trees, and houses, everything. Like it's been dipped in water, and then in sugar. Or salt, yeah, I see. Well, it's better than ice storms or anything like that. And everything is white and sparkling so clean. And when the sun comes up, it blinds you. And it's rare. It doesn't happen every year. But that's what I'd like to do. What I'd like to be. I have a book with Jack Frost painted mad on the window pane with a paintbrush. Do you fly? Do you dream you fly? When? Ever. I don't know, I guess. Well, how high? Think about it. It's important. Everybody flies. It's important how high. Oh, just over my head? Really? I reckon I'm almost getting tangled up in wires and all. Well, I'm way over the treetops, just over the treetops, just brushing against the treetops, and I fly right over them, just brushing with my arms up, over the whole town like an airplane, spreading this salt frost in the autumn. I love autumn. And when the sun comes up, all right. it blinds you. Yeah, I've seen it. It's so bright, it blinds you. And I want to fly like that, over the whole town, right over everybody. It's beautiful. Listen, did you hear something? No. What? Like something rustling in the leaves. No. What? No, it was probably just the wind. Well, listen. I don't hear anything. Maybe it was the wind. <coughs> Maybe it was a fox. Don't. Horrible. Ted Taffy chopped a wolf in his barn last year. Yeah, I shot it and set off too. 
He did not. Are you trying to scare me? It got away. Shot it, killed it, took it down into Centerville and got $20 for it. It wasn't anything. We better get back. Maybe it was the mate looking for the one that cabbed the shot. Don't say that. It wasn't anything. I, Listen. I don't hear anything. <laughs> what was that heap of junk go below the Plymouth? At Church Street? That's driver's car. Driver Junior's older brother. He used to drive it over in stock car races. In Centerville, they got a track. The whole town went used to when he drove. <coughs> I suppose I think it's bad luck now. Smashed to hell looks like, doesn't it? He get killed? Oh yeah, died instantly. They drove back here. And they chained it to the middle of the street? The grass in these covered, I had no idea what it was. Well, that's where the chain broke and the axle broke and every other damn thing broke, so there it sits. Not a very pretty sight. Rustling away, flaking away, falling apart, corded together. Everything's oh. left and resting. All the buildings bowing and gnawing. We'll be asking close down eight years. Can't avoid it, I guess. You fall down, you bruise, you bump things. You're old. Wages of sin lead to death. Tumbleweed blowing down the deserted streets. And the flowers dry up and die. They can go to the race to see him kill himself. You wiped yourself? And it covers everything, and that's fine. I remember his laugh. Eldritch is all but a ghost town. I don't know, love. Like it's been dipped in water, and then in sugar. The mine shaft building used to just shine. Only there. Just see. It's a beautiful church. What'd you say? A decent person is afraid to move outside of that. As it go your ways tonight. You seem uneasy. The doctor said it was just shock. Gone, gone, gone. And when the sun comes up, it blinds you. And not seeing the light of day tomorrow. Oh, my children. And that's what I want to be. Gone, gone, gone. You know what my mother said? What? When I come in. What? Well, she says you're unresponsible. And she asks me things like, where you go and all, everywhere you go, anytime I go anywhere with you, everything we do. Where she think we go? Well, I tell her, we go walking in the woods, talking, and she knows that, but she thinks we do other things too. Like what? Well, you know. Like what? You know, dirty things. What does she think that for? Well, I don't tell her though. Well, what would you tell her? About that, about one out the pee and things. Uh, there's nothing dirty about that. Well, don't you think I know? I think she means other things. What? Oh, never mind. Well, don't you think I know? <coughs> I know, but you wouldn't do something like that. You don't even look. I can know. I know. You don't know anything about it, either. Well, I do too. I've seen. You think I'm so young because I'm so little? I'm 14. I can have babies already. And I've seen cows do it when they're in heat. But <coughs> you wouldn't do something like that. Let's go back. Well, let's do. I know how I can. Okay, when two cows are in heat, that's one cow jumping on another cow. You don't know anything. Well, you're ashamed. You're not old enough to. You don't know what you're talking about. Boys have to be older. I bet your brother did anyways. We may as well, because she thinks I do anyways. You're the one who doesn't know anything about it. Oh, I should just show you. You don't you don't know what you're talking about. What? Anything, because you don't know anything about. Well, I do too. You're afraid. You don't know what you're talking well, about. Well, only not here. Why not? What's wrong with you? Well, you have to be in bed, stupid. Well, you think you know so much. Hey, leave me alone. Don't touch me. I will if I want to. No, you want to get it in you so bad, you think I can't. Stop it. You think I won't do it? You think I can't? Leave me alone. I'll tell. No, you won't. You asked for it. No, 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 there's someone out there. Hey, I'm a terrible fuck. They came from the woods and started yelling all kinds of things. Well, where was you? I thought you was in bed. You better go out and see, honey. No, you won't. You asked for it. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Don't yeah. touch me. Stop. You think you're Stop. so smart? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up or Stop. I'll kill you now. Stop. Jesus. Stop. You little whore. Stop. Stop. Get up. Stop. 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 Leave me alone. I think I get out of her. Don't hurt her, Robert. Don't hurt her. Get up. What's going on? Who's there? Help her! Just in your own words, what happened on the night in question. 
Can you do that? Uh, I think so, yes. We know this has been a terrible shot to you, Robert. Uh, no, no. Um, <clears throat> I'm all right. So, me and Eva were walking in the woods. We do so quite frequently. Well, we noticed it started to get dark, so we thought we'd better head back. We were heading back towards uh, Center Street, that'd be West, and we thought we heard a noise in the woods, and so we stopped and we listened, but we, we didn't hear anything, and kept going. Well, we, we stopped because we thought we heard something again, and we saw something moving in the woods, and we, we started running more as a joke than anything. Well, uh, well, it started running too. Well, it was skelly, and I, I'm not afraid of him or anything, but I, I knew he'd never liked my brother, and, and he was running too. He took us by surprise, and came from behind, he pushed me. I don't know if I passed out or not. He's immensely strong. I heard a ringing in my ears, and well, I, I saw what he was trying to do, and everything just went flat. He pushed me. <laughs> oh, God! Baby! My baby! No, 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 no. Save a crippled body. Save a broken back. Why? Why has God crushed me with this terrible burden? I, I don't complain. I only ask why. We love him. Bless him. Praise him. You know, I saw you the first day you came into town. I'll bet. I've seen you a few times. I told Lena I liked you. No, no, come on. Yes, it's all right. I want you to. Got nothing with me. I know. Doesn't matter. You will wash your feet with the socks on. Did you know I washed you? Uh -huh. Did you know that? No, I've seen you a few times. I told Lena I liked you. I don't like any of the boys here. They're terrible. They're shiftless. Oh, they're all right. But nobody wants to have been. Not in this town. Rotten away.